One. Hello, Loper Mole Dogs. It's Mrs. Connor, and today I'm going to read you one of my favorite books. When I was a little girl, my dad used to let my sister and I pick out books every night, and we would sit on his lap and read them. And this is one of those books. The Curious Little Kitten by Linda Hayward, illustrated by Maggie Swanson. Once upon a time, there was a curious little kitten. She lived in a nice sunny yard behind a nice cozy house. The little kitten's yard was surrounded by fences. There was a high wooden fence on one side, a low wooden fence on the other side, and in the back was a red brick wall. Here's the fence and here's the wall. At first, the curious little kitten was only curious about the things that were inside her yard. She was curious about the flowers and the birds and the garden hose. She was curious about the clothesline and the wheelbarrow and the rose bushes. Sometimes it was fun being so curious and sometimes it was very uncomfortable. By and by, the little kitten became curious about the things that were outside her yard. She began to wonder what was on the other side of those three fences. One day, she peeked through a hole in the high wooden fence. She could see another yard, just like hers. But in that yard, there was a small house. The curious little kitten just had to find out what was inside that small house. In no time at all, she wriggled through the hole, scurried across the grass, and went right up to the doorway. She looked into the house. Something brown and furry was sleeping inside. What could it be? The curious little kitten crept closer and closer until... Woof! Woof! The brown furry thing woke up. Ooh, was it big. Oh, was it loud. The little kitten could not get out of the yard fast enough. She ran back to her own yard and hid behind the wheelbarrow. She was very frightened and very certain that she would never, ever be curious again. But the very next day, the little kitten found a hole in the low wooden fence. She looked through it she could see another yard, just like hers. But in that yard, there was a small round pond. The curious little kitten just had to find out what was in that pond. In no time at all, the little kitten wriggled through the hole, scampered across the grass, and went right up to the edge of the pond. She peered in. Something bright orange and wiggly was down there under the water. What could it be? The curious little kitten leaned over farther and farther, closer and closer, until... Splash! She tumbled in. Ooh, was it cold. Oh, was it wet. She could not get out of that pond fast enough. She could not get out of that yard fast enough. The little kitten went back to her own yard and found a sunny, dry place to rest. Here in her own yard was where she would stay here it was safe. Being curious could only get a kitten into trouble. She would never, ever be curious again. But the very next day, when she was looking for something to do, the little kitten hopped up to the top of the red brick wall. She only wanted to have a peek. And there was still another yard just like hers. What was in that yard? She had to find out. In no time at all, the curious little kitten hopped off the wall and landed right in front of another little kitten. Ooh, was she surprised. Oh, was she happy. The curious little kitten could not make friends with that new little kitten fast enough. Sometimes being curious was all right. Sometimes being curious helped a little kitten to find a nice new friend. Stay curious, Loper Bulldogs. Love you all. Goodbye.